In 1984, evidence of Pakistani intrusion into the area north of Tortuk, the last clearly demarcated point along the LOC as per the Shimla Agreement, was brought to India's notice by visiting mountaineering expeditions. In addition, post-1981, U.S. Air Force maps also showed the Siachen region as part of Pakistan. The Indian Army, on board Air Force helicopters, moved into the region, occupying key positions on the Saltoro Ridge, with the intention of denying the strategically important glacier to Pakistani troops. Seventeen bloody years later, Siachen continues to be the world's highest battlefield with troops occupying frontline posts at altitudes of 20,000 feet, some six kilometers above sea level. In the Siachen saga, IAF helicopters have played a key role. Defying sub-zero temperatures, treacherous terrain, and operating at altitudes far beyond the designer's specifications, they are the main link between the army and the rest of the country. Regardless of the sophistication and efficacy of equipment, it is the inherent capability of the human behind the machine and the training imparted to hone his skills that is the crucial factor in total effectiveness. Bravo right, zero nine zero. Alpha, trail left, half eleven six. Bravo, lead. The Indian Air Force requires dedicated professionals to carry out a wide spectrum of tasks and has evolved the requisite training infrastructure and techniques to meet the multifarious requirements. The Air Force is at the forefront of technology's cutting edge. The inherent strengths of aerospace power make its platform the delivery method of choice for employing technology in its various avatars. The flexibility of air power allows for a tailored, quick and appropriate response using a variety of systems to achieve national objectives. Some of these delivery platforms of the future would need to incorporate stealth, including not only aircraft and missiles, but also the capability to make the enemy ineffective through various electronic countermeasure systems. One, two, zero. Two targeting bound, range 25, low level, outside echelon. Move right, slow, stop, antenna align to one, two, zero. Target detected, range 25 kilometers. Ajamat, one, two, zero, elevation one degree. Target lockdown, range 22 kilometers. 202 low level. Ajamat 120 elevation 1 degree target engageable. Various indigenous organizations work round the clock on aircraft, weapons and systems to keep the Air Force contemporary. The Aircraft and Systems Testing Establishment is a dedicated test center that undertakes flight evaluation of all aircraft prior to their induction into service, be they of helicopter, fighter or transport streams. In order to enhance the operational potential of the existing aircraft of the IAF, AST also undertakes flight testing for evaluation and integration of various advanced weapons and other airborne systems. It also undertakes flight testing on behalf of HEL and other DRDO establishments. Sea control for a nation with such a massive coastline 
is of critical importance. The defense of this long boundary and the ability to launch shore-based maritime strikes are also important Air Force tasks today. The potential and operational value of shore-based aircraft in a maritime role is even more relevant today than it has ever been. Rapid mobilization is perhaps the key to launch maritime strikes and these aircraft contribute significantly to deter any threat from the sea. Squadrons are especially trained and equipped for a maritime role and these often operate in conjunction with the Indian Navy. Success in modern warfare depends on joint teamwork. Battles are won by all the services operating effectively together. In the Arabian Sea, the Lakshadweep Islands lie about 200 nautical miles from the Malabar coast and are strategically so situated that they overlook two important shipping lanes originating from the Gulf of Aden and Oman to Colombo and the Far East. Similarly, on the eastern seaboard, the northern chain of these islands comprises of the North, Middle and South Andaman Islands. There are also two isolated islands the Little Andaman and the Car Nicobar, which is the main IAF base. The 10 degree channel separates the southern Nicobar group from the northern Andaman group. Surrounded by Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Myanmar, Bangladesh and the mainland, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are of particular strategic importance as they sit astride one of the busiest focal points, the Malacca Straits. Joint warfare has two critical elements. First is planning and the second, execution. There can be no doubt about the fact that joint planning in times of war is an absolute necessity for it provides multiple options and is a much better way towards achieving operational objectives.